So in the run-up to South Africa's general election in 2014, Beckersdal here west of Johannesburg was a hot bed of violence. Polling stations and public buildings were torched over poor service delivery. So the subsequent local government poll two years later took place in peaceful conditions, but about seven years after, Ang had spilled onto these streets and on the cusp of another election, we returned to Beckersdal just to find a community still battling the very same issues. The stench here is overwhelming. Right next to it is a supermarket owned by Moses Malulege, who was fed up. The task he has resigned himself to, work meant to be done by the local municipality, but he has given up on that. It benefits majority of the community, saving even children from the surrounding danger. Not just the filth, but manholes that have been opened for as long as he can remember. He has equally resigned himself to more municipal work, like making the road next to his shop more bearable. <laughs> Moses says it's unbearable to live here. He says near his shop there is too much filth. He does not know where the municipality is. They also live in filth. He says it will be very difficult to vote in the upcoming elections because he says they vote and there's no improvement. A few meters away is the local taxi rank where Tobega Nomachila runs her food selling business from a corrugated iron structure. And the only available toilet is shared between men and women. Tobeka says they need proper shelter here and that they fetch water from very far in order to cook. She says that they also share toilets with men. While this election will be about jobs and more jobs, Florence Matuba Duba saw the gap and is helping young people empower themselves like 23-year-old Tsulufelo Molibati. When you train a person, you train the, 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 the family. When you train the family, you train the whole community. When you train the whole community, at least you bring the plate of food on the table. So Some sew at their homes and they make money. Others open their own businesses. So whichever political party or coalition of parties takes control of the West Rand local municipality after the November local government elections, it will be a mammoth task to revive the ailing and impoverished Beckersdal. The township is in dire need of improvement and its people are desperate for much needed services and a better life. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News in Beckersdal.